welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these, I don't even know what they are. I'm going to call them little snow buckets because that's kind of what they look like. These little snow bucket ornaments out of an empty K-cup. Uh, I drink a ton of coffee, so I always have a ton of K-cups, you know, laying around. And I've already done a video on how to make a K-cup snowman and how to make a snowman hat. So I thought I would try something else, and this is what I came up with, okay? So um, I have this fake snow that I got from the Dollar Tree. Uh, this is what it looks like. This bag ripped, the whole side of it ripped open. So I put it in a Ziploc bag, and I've got a little bit in a bowl that I'm going to use here. I also got these bows uh, from the Dollar Tree. I've already used a few of those, which is why they're missing. Uh, this ribbon came from the Dollar Tree. I have some greenery that came from the Dollar Tree. I've already used part of this, um, so it's looking a little straggly, but it came from the Dollar Tree as well. I have my hot glue gun. I have some beading wire. Of course, that's all ripped up there. This has got a lot of use out of it. And I have a needle. And what I did here is I uh, poked a hole with the needle on this side and one on the opposite side. And what I'm going to do is take this beading wire and I'm just going to thread it through just right across. Ah, well I said I was. It's hard to get in there. There we go. Right across there. And this is going to act as our hanger. Just snip that. A lot of times this is easy to knot. Like I said, you use it for um, I use it for jewelry making. You can knot it. And of course, I'm trying to do it on a video, so it's going to act stupid on me. There we go. Just tie a knot kind of towards the top here. Like that. Yeah, our little hanger there. I'm going to trim that off. Then I just took a bit of hot glue. Let's see the best looking side. We'll use this. This will be our back side here. Just a dot of glue there. And I'm just going to stick my ribbon right there. Now the word of caution, hot glue is hot. <laughs> so if you're doing this, please, please be careful to not burn yourself. I've got more burns than I care to admit from using hot glue. I'm going to just go put another blob right there. And then I'm going to wrap my ribbon around. We'll just hold it there very carefully <laughs> until it cools down a little bit. And I love this fake snow, but let me tell you, oh my gosh, it can be a pain to work with because this stuff, it can go everywhere if you're not careful. I just had some scissors. Oh yes, here they are. This stuff, like I said, it can go everywhere if you're not careful. Um, so just keeping on that. I mean, even the slightest little bit of breeze or air is going to make it blow all over the place. So there is our ribbon. It's wrapped around there. Let's get that out of the way. And then we're going to get a bow off of here. Well, I said we were. We're going to cut the tape a little bit. That's what we're going to do. Let's see. I just let this red ribbon. Here we go. Let's trim off some of this. Some of this here. There we go. And then we're going to glue our bow. Let's see, sort of right here in the middle. I got a blob of hot glue there. Oops. Let me get that wire out of the way. And glue it right there. Um, my glue gun is a hot temperature glue gun. The best to use on plastic like this is a low temp. That way you don't run the risk of actually burning a hole through your K-cup. I've burned a hole through quite a few. So you may want to use a lower temperature one. Okay, now our little bow is on there. Now this is what I think is the hard part. Is putting hot glue a little bit around 
the rim of this K cup here. And then the best way I've found to do it is just to dip it into the snow here, just to get some stuck on it. Let's see. Yeah, just put a little bit around the rim here. Doesn't have to be a lot, because if you put a whole lot on there, it's gonna, it's gonna start falling off once you dip it into these little snow thingies. I just dip it like that, see? Now it's starting to kind of stick. There you go. And then you just, however you want yours to look, just put a little bit more glue. And just use your fingers just to kind of, you know, pour more on top of it here. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's, the look I was going for was like um, snow piled up, you know, kind of falling out of it. Ah! So it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, when I got these from the Dollar Tree, I had bought one of my little boys a toy there as well. And on our way home, he starts fussing because he wants his toy out of the bag. So I go to get his toy, and I picked up this bag of fake snow. And the side of the bag just completely ripped open. So now I've got a ton of this in my car. <laughs> you know, thankful I have a shop vac. You know, I can, I can go out there and have to vacuum it all out now. So, crafting is messy, but that looks okay, right? Yeah, looks okay. Is it? It's not going to be perfect. That looks okay. Alrighty. Try to get my my hanger, my hanging thread here up out of the way. And then all I did was I just took my um, what do you call this? A pick. Yeah, I took my pick here and just started cutting it. Um, look at all the needles going everywhere. And then just sticking it in there. Um, I don't have another pine cone like this one right here. I don't have another pine cone. Because this pick only came with one. But I do have the berries and whatnot. I love these berries. Oopsie some of the pine needles there and just you know just cram whatever you can down in there make it look however you want and you can put like a little dot of hot glue in there to hold everything in place but yeah, that's how I made mine I'll put some more greenery in here, of course, to make it look a little bit better, but because it's looking a little sparse right now. But, um, oh, here's a leaf. I don't know if that'll look okay or not. No, we're going to leave that out. We'll just leave that out. But, yeah, there's my, uh, what I'm calling my little snow bucket there. Once I get the inside arranged the way I like it and put some more greenery in there and make it look a little bit more full like this one, I'll glue everything down to hold it in place. And there's my little snow buckets. So if you liked this, please, please do me a huge favor and click on that subscribe button over there. Uh, you can also check me out on Facebook and my website. I'll put the links to both of those in the description box down below. If you have any suggestions of any other Christmas crafts or any ideas that you'd like to see me take on, then you can leave me a comment. But other than that, thank you guys for stopping by and I'll see y'all later. Bye!